Yes, this is from Sherry. She says, I have breast cancer, and I've read literature suggesting I should take vitamin D. Is this correct? Sherry, without any question, if you have cancer or if you want to avoid cancer, I would take vitamin D. Probably the single most important thing that I would do to reduce the infections you get all year long is also to take vitamin D. Why? Because vitamin D is a hormone, and it is a hormone. It will stimulate your immune system, and your immune system will therefore be more able to pick up early cancer cells. Remember, everyone watching me right now has cancer. We both have cancer right. cells, right. but they're just individual cells that hopefully our immune system recognizes and can take out. So you want to get vitamin D in there to stimulate the immune system to work normally. Vitamin D deficiency doesn't just cause problems with the bone. It causes not only autoimmune issues, because your immune system is not functioning normally, right. but it makes you more prone to infections and it weakens your body's ability to cope with cancer. Those are some of the many reasons that vitamin D is critical what to you. What do you recommend? How, how much? I'm well, taking 2,000 a day. Most people benefit from either 1,000 or 2,000 a day. Mm -hmm. And listen, I will tell everybody right now, especially if you're darker skinned, you probably need to be on a supplement, especially if you live in the northern climates of America. And by north, I mean north of Atlanta because in the winter months you don't get enough sun. Now in the summertime you do have the ability to get sun, so go out and get it. But in the meantime, if you're not getting sun exposure, and there are plenty of people in Florida, Texas, and Southern California who are not, uh, then I want you to go out and get you at least 1,000 units a day, but you gotta check your levels. If your levels are low, you have to bump it up to 2,000 more. There are some people who need 5,000 units of vitamin D every day in order to get adequate levels in their blood. And now, can you take too much? It is very difficult to take too much vitamin D. Probably 10,000 a day chronically might put you over the edge. Right. But, but you but know two what? Two or 3,000? Not even close. Not even, not even a problem. And you know, if you go out into the sun for 10, 15 minutes, yeah. you'll get 10,000 units. Oh, really? Yeah, so you get a lot from the sun. Uh, you get a lot more than just vitamin D from the sun, which is why I recommend that as your primary course. Uh -huh. But 1,000 or 2,000 is a very safe dose. That's great.